Hi, in this video, we are going to configure and discuss about, about SRT policy. An SRT policy is uniquely identified by a tuple, that is color and endpoint. Color is a numerical value to differentiate multiple SRT policies between the same pair of nodes. Endpoint is the destination of SRT policy. Before proceeding for configuration, let us see our topology. Our topology is same as in the video 1, our first video. We are going to configure SRT policy on PE1 towards PE2. Here PE1 is our head and, node, head and router whereas PE2 is our tail end node. Before configuring SRT policy, let us check show segment routing traffic engineering policy. You can see there is no, com there is no SRT policy is configured. So I'll do, go to configuration mode, then segment routing, then traffic engineering. Now I will configure a policy. You can configure a policy by any name. So I'll give two underscore p two underscore one. Now we have to give a color. The color can be any numerical value. So I'll use one thousand one, and an endpoint. Endpoint is our p two, and its IP for address is one dot one dot one dot eight. SRT policy also have something called candidate paths. You can configure multiple candidate paths with different preference value. So I'm configuring here candidate path with a preference 100. If the candidate paths having diff multiple candidate paths are there, sorry, multiple candidate paths are there with different preference values, higher the preference value take the precedence. For example, if we have a candidate path with preference 100 and preference 50, the preference 100's candidate path takes the precedence. So now I will configure candidate path preference 100 with a dynamic. So again, SRT policies can be dynamic or explicit. So dynamic SRT policies <coughs> use either local TE database to compute the path or it will contact SRPC. So I'll give just dynamic. In explicit path, we will give uh, explicit segment list or list of segment IDs. That is, it is similar as like in configuring an configuring and static route. So along with that, we have to give the metric type also. Metric type can be either IGP, latency, T or hop count. So I will use IGP here. Now I will commit this configurations. Now let us check show segment routing traffic engineering policy again. You can see segment routing traffic engineering policy has been successfully configured and it, uh, <coughs> and it is up. You can see it is using metric type as IGP and hence it is using label 16008. This is the end of our video. Thank you for watching this video.